Welcome back to With The Wild, our off-grid channel. Today's episode, we are cutting some posts and beams on the sawmill for a beautiful mantelpiece project. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be starting a process. We have a ton of rain coming tonight, and it's going to be continuing on until tomorrow. So what I kind of want to do is set myself up with some work, even though it's going to be raining. Um, and one plan that I have is I'm going to be tearing out a section of this wall. It's all load bearing, but it's going to be coming out from here to, uh, I've got it marked over here somewhere. And what I'm going to be doing is I want to mill up a couple posts and a beam. And then I'll do a little bit of uh, post and beam in here, but I'm going to have to build a wall in here just to hold the structure so I'm not causing any issues. And then, and then I'm going to be uh, cutting out what I need to cut out. But first, uh, I want to get outside and I want to uh, change the blade on the sawmill. I want to find some, I've got some logs out there that I cut last year and I want to see if I can mill up a good size post and beam from a pretty dry log, that way it's not super heavy. And then I'll get that in the house and that'll give me the chance tomorrow to uh, start working on the post and beams. So I'm gonna get to her. I'm just measuring some logs. What are you doing, sweetie? Huh? There's logs right here. Yeah, I had to cut them. Because they're in the way. They used to be over there. They were like kind of in that distance where they're like, yeah, if we want, we can totally fall on your house. So, can't have that. No. Okay, so this. This is the spruce here. Yeah, so the small side is 11 by 11. The small side is 10 by 10. Okay, sweetie, uh, can you get off? I'm going to have to push these logs. Come here, Ava. I'm going to have to push these over so I can grab with the four wheeler. small side, I think. And that's 11 by 11. And that's a small side down there. And this one's gonna, oh, oh, put that slump there. That's a small end on that side. These three logs. <laughs> She's I just ready. have to double check to make sure that this is long enough for the beam. Okay. Don't touch the keys though, okay? Very important. Out of the way, sweetie. Away. Let's go, Daddy! Let's go, Daddy! Thank you. You want to go in the way? Yeah, so. 
this is the smallest diameter log over here. So what I think I'll do is I'll square camp this one first and uh, see what I can get size wise if I can get six by six, six and a half, seven, whatever it is. And then I should be able to match it with these two. So I think that's the way to go. Yeah. Nice. Didn't say anything about thunder.
So this is our first uh, six, it's a true six by six. It's uh, perfectly six inches by six inches. And this will be one of the posts. And this is the smallest in diameter of the three. So I'll be able to get easily six by sixes out of those as well. And oh man, does it look good. So this is balsam fir. This is a great, really good lumber. We got plenty of it on the property. Look, Dad. Oh, that's a storm coming in. Do we have enough time for... I tried to beat the rain. Nope. <laughs> I swear the raindrops just got bigger. I don't feel like hail.
Are you sure you want to keep going? Maybe not. No. All right. Oh, man. Oh, So we just got back, uh, we decided to go pick up some grain because we were short on that. It got a little hairy carry here, it was uh, lightning, thunder, and then we started getting pelted with uh, hail. So anyways, we'll get this done, it's just sprinkling now, it's supposed to pour all night, it's supposed to be pouring all tomorrow, so this is good enough weather to get this done, so we'll get her done. Do you want me to help? Yes. Trying to get it on the bunks. I'm trying to get. Beautiful, but it hurts when you get pelted with it. <laughs> Beautiful. Depends on the type of cloud it was in. We got our beam. I did it uh, six inches by seven and a half. So that's going to be really strong, but also I'm going to uh, be able to hang sort of pots and pans over the wood cook stove. It'll work kind of like um, a mantelpiece a little bit. Anyways, glad I got that done. It gives me something that I can do tomorrow. Back again today, as promised by the Weather Network, we are in a very rainy day, or we have a rainy day, but I got the beam done, and I got the two posts done. Oh man, do they ever look good. Just gorgeous. So, put the square up on them, and they're very, very square. I. Uh, I made sure when I was pushing, um, I'm not exactly sure on the terminology, I think it's called the log dogs. But anyways, the metal things that come up at the back of the, uh, the sawmill, I was really making sure that I was pushing it up nice and tight against that. So I was trying really hard to make a really nice square cut. Plus I put a new blade on and it was cutting like really well. Normally what I would do is if I had some muddy sections on, I would, uh, 
I would like use my draw knife and I'd scrape those sections off or I'd get a, a, a broom or whatever. But because I was like in the elements real hard, I was just trying to get through it as fast as possible. And uh, I still ran into a lot of weather issues, but I got her done. Uh, the only thing that I wish I'd kind of got done was, uh, I wish I grabbed a smaller diameter log that I had so that I could have done 245s. Um, that way I could have uh, timber framed those in, but um, what I'll have to do is cut uh, a couple for 45s and I'll just, uh, I'll just screw them in or nail them in. Um, it'll still look really good, but it's always nice to have everything timber framed. It's beautiful, it's really cool. But uh, like I said, this side, oh, that one, oh, that one over there is lifted up. If you look at that, that's beautiful, nice and square. Not seeing the light shine through on the bottom or the top. So when you do a little bit of timber framing, what you want to do is find the square side, but I've gone through these and it's really square all the way around. So I can pretty much just draw which side I want to make my marks from. And what I'm doing with these is this beam. So I made this beam, it's six, just like these ones wide and then it's uh yeah sorry it's six like those ones wide true six and then almost seven and a half just under just under seven and a half there so that's that's gonna be a real strong beam and uh the whole purpose of this is this is all gonna be kitchen in here and then we're gonna put like an island in here excuse the mess and if we put the wood stove here, it would take up way too much space of the kitchen and the chimney would have to run through upstairs to go through uh, our daughter's room and it would take up space there. By opening this wall up like this and we can inset the stove kind of further into the mud room, it helps because we're gonna have coat hangers all through here and we'll be able to put our boots out. This is gonna be tiled, which means that we're gonna be able to dry all our farm gear, all our clothes, everything like that will dry out real nice. It'll give us a real nice open plan view into from this room in. So you'll be able to see out into like the dining rooms over here. There's gonna be a wall here and a wall there on the other side of the staircase when I build that. And then that'll go into the next addition that I haven't built yet, but this kind of opens it up, gets it out of the kitchen, gets the stove in here, helps us dry off our clothes faster, and uh, also just helps the, the stove kind of move all the way through. And the bonus is we'll be able to uh, put the chimney straight out just the roof.
Loving how square these are. The uh, the first time that I was cutting with the sawmill, um, I did just a couple. Every time I was doing a, a square camp before I started cutting boards, I was checking to see. It's beautiful. Checking to see how square everything was, and I wasn't really getting things. I was getting things kind of close to square, but I wasn't getting things square. Every single corner I'm checking on this is perfectly square. Um, the big thing was I was setting it up against the log dogs but I wasn't what they're called whatever the metal bracing things it goes up against which creates a square and I wasn't paying attention when I was pushing the log up and I was kind of out a little bit this way or that so human error I guess it's just anytime you get a new tool you gotta learn how to use it. Alright this is it. Let's see if these lines match up. Pretty damn close. So it's off by 32nd or maybe 64th. Pretty damn good. beam is six feet one and three quarters that's the span and then uh, it's seven and three eighths that's the uh, the height of the beam and then I just measured each post post is going to be uh, 88 inches and uh, 
seven eighths. So they're both 88 and 7 eighths, but I can't cut it at 88 and 7 eighths because I need to make sure that I leave the room for the tenon that is going to go up into the beam. So I'm just trying to think. It's six inches. Could do maybe four inches. So that'd be 92 and 7 eighths. Four inches. I think so. Yeah, let's do that. Four inches. So we'll go up four inches. And that gives us, what is that? That's 92 and 7 eighths we need to cut. 92 and 7 eighths. All right, that's the game plan. Thanks so much for watching the video. Next video, we're gonna be turning these awesome posts and beam into a timber frame mantelpiece. Hope to catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Bye now.